all right hello ownership babes welcome back to my channel welcome back to this session as we just talk about some different things mainly we're going to talk about some habits that i had to change in order to become successful in life i will say disclaimer success is defined by the beholder you know your idea of success may not resemble my idea of success so I'm gonna call this topic um, just a little chat and polish. I'm actually polishing um, my nails. Um, I haven't gone to the nail shop in a few weeks, so I'm polishing my nails. So we're gonna just um, do that and just have some girl chat. So um, some habits that I had to break away from um, in no specific order as far of as far as importance. Um, number one, I would say I had to break away from really um, blaming other people. You know, in life, sometimes things happen, and I'm not saying that all the time it's our fault, things that happen, but I know it's our human nature to want to blame other people for things that are going wrong in our lives. And I just remember it was a point in time and I'm like, wow, I can't get a break. Nothing's happening right, you know, and I wanted to blame it on everyone else except for who? Myself. Life truly changed when I realized that the biggest problem was not the people, not saying, well, some of them, and I'll get to that point too, <laughs> breaking away from that type of habit, but I'm not saying it was all me, but really I had to realize and break away from the fact that of blaming other people i had to develop develop a habit where i would look internally first so instead of pointing to someone else i had to point to myself and really analyze the situations that i was in and why i was having repeat offenders of situations that did not serve me or did not do me any justice and really um did not represent me in the best way so letting go of just blaming was so important to me and once i did that and i looked in inside i will say it's not an easy uh thing to do because it is very easy to blame other people i will say that um when i think about it you know things that happen yes it feels good sometimes to blame other people but it feels better when you look within and then you blame yourself why because when you really start to look at yourself and evaluate yourself you start to see things clearer and then it really gets you excited because it gives you an opportunity to start working on those things so at a time in my life i just remember where things were not going right didn't matter what it was and i was like things are not all areas of my life felt like they were not going so well it was just easy to start to point the finger but honestly when I just said you know what look within let's really see what the problem is and I saw a lot of the, the issues that it was me um, that was doing it maybe I was not directly influencing the situation but indirectly I was so I would say um, breaking free of those type of habits, those blaming habits, it really frees you internally. And we all know the better we get internally, the more life starts to become better, more beautiful for us uh, externally. So that's one of the things I started doing is blaming others. Um, another thing was probably breaking free of people um most times when it's, it's i think it's natural when we're going through things we tend to separate from people or sometimes you want to be away from people and i'm not talking about that because sometimes you do need that headspace so that you can get clarity and then you can group back with people but i'm saying i wanted to make sure i stop associating what people want that didn't have my best interests at heart. 
probably didn't have their own best interests at heart. So I separated from them. I separated from people that were always just negative, you know, and some of them, they didn't even truly know or understand how negative they were. But if I, I had made a decision that I wanted to live a positive, a motivating life, and that's hard to do when you're surrounded by negative people. So I had to disassociate myself with that. I had to break that habit of thinking that I always had to have, you know, people around. You know, if I, if, if I didn't have these people around, well, I didn't have people um, to go places with or whatever. But then I fell in love with going places by myself or going places, you know, with my husband and not really having, you know, didn't need the you know, the group of people to be around because I was enough, I am enough. So breaking free of that habit, disassociating with negativity, it gave me a sense of I am enough. So that's one thing I broke uh, away from. Another was um, not being consistent. Ownership babes, we know if we're honest, um, sometimes we're not consistent. We're not consistent in thoughts. We're not consistent in actions. And I had to break free from that. Being non-consistent, it allows your life to be like one day you're, you're up, next day you're down, and it's just a wave. And it wasn't even tone. And only because um, I really did not, um, or I would say, because I was not consistent with my, rather my thoughts and consistent with my actions. So this is where, what comes into play often, I say like I journal. Um, journaling comes natural for me. I'm, I always have some type of notebook, a pen or something to write with because um, my best ideas, my best um, uh, thoughts, my best sessions, I believe, things come from like journaling it it out writing it out so i had to get clarity in my thoughts and that's how i became more consistent developing a routine where i could really um navigate through my thoughts and not only did this help to make me more consistent this gave me clarity so that whenever i did hear other opinions because we live in a world right now where everyone has an opinion about something and what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing and things of that sort and hopefully these sessions hopefully ownership babe these channels um you don't feel like it's telling you what to do because clearly i state i'm just sharing my truth and i know people want to be told this is the thing <laughs> because i understand sales very well and in sales, if you're a salesperson or used to be a salesperson, you know this thing that people want to be led. They want to know what to do. And that's the thing, um, you know, I'm not trying to sell at the moment. I'm not trying to sell anyone anything. If anything I'm trying to sell you is, is hope and opportunity that you can change your life. You can better your life financially. You can better your life internally. You can better your life externally. So. That's the only thing I'm really trying to sell, but I know we live in a world now where people are trying to sell for money. And so <laughs> when that tends to happen, that's more popular because people are telling people what to do. But I'm more of an advocate, uh, advocate for people um, not being told what to do, but as you hear things, as you hear things in these sessions, that you make sure it's in line with your thoughts. You make sure it's in line with your feelings, how you were created and, you know, the unique person that you were created to be. And most times you cannot do that when you're not consistent in your thoughts and your actions. So ladies, I had to break free. I had to break free from that. Um, I had to break free from, uh, let's say, fear. You know, do we all feel some sense of fear, especially when something's new, something's challenging, something's different? You know, this is different for me. I am a face-to-face, energy-to-energy person. So to be before you in a uh, talking to a camera, <laughs> not feeling the energy that's out there, but having to bring the energy that's challenging, that's different for me. There's a little, even there, and it's like, man, should I do this? And one would say that's some sort of fear, 
But what I know is in order to break free, I had to feel that fear, but still persevere, still push through. Why? Because on the other side of the lens is people that may need to hear my truth. They may need to hear that you don't have to do life the way everyone is saying do it you can do it in a natural way what feels good to you what's in line with your core beliefs what's in line with your purpose in life and so whenever um i, I started doing these sessions and creating ownership babe you know i really had to um let go of any fear and persevere through it push through it you know i had to realize you know it, having fear and faith in the same space is just destruction. It's destruction. So just challenging myself to just let it go, <laughs> to honestly let it go um, and not let it control my life, not let it control my decisions. Um, another thing, well, and that leads me into another point of letting go is letting go of always wanting to be in control and I know ownership babes depending on what level you are at you want to be in control of everything but I'm here to tell you you can't uh, there's a higher power out there and our higher power is in control has the ultimate control you just have to believe it and I had to let go of trying to control every situation everything i just had to do the best i could to honor you know my creator to honor my life my fa finances my family in the best way so i had to let go but give it to my higher power so i had to give that up and most times we don't want to give up control <laughs> this is why we'll stay in a situation too long and then um Again, that leads me to another point um, of being in situations too long. I had to let go of that. You know, I would be in a situation, I think about it years ago, I was in a situation too long and I knew my intuition told me, you know, I feel like God gives us intuition and it told me like, you know, a long time ago, get out of this, you know, separate yourself, not, you know, get away and i just allow myself to stay in that situation until i was basically forced out and what that taught me about myself is that sometimes i would ignore my intuition so i had to let that go that thing of not listening to my intuition intuition instead of listening to other people because there were other people that were saying stay do this do that and I was following them instead of following what God had put in me. And when I started following what God put in me, my life changed miraculously. I mean, I will tell you, it changed um, not just financially, you know, it changed in all aspects of my life because I started listening to my gut, my intuition. So I definitely had to do that. Um, to up my game to level my game and let just just let go of other people opinions other people thoughts of what I should be doing and I had to find out what I truly knew I should be doing which is what I'm doing which is why I'm here which is sharing my truths you know I didn't know it when I was going through it when I was going through that journey of being debt free, when I was going through that journey of stacking money, when I was going through that journey, I didn't know why I was doing it, but I did know my intu intuition was telling me that I was doing it for a bigger purpose that was bigger than me. And now that's what I'm able to do. So if I touch one, if I touch two people, if it, it hey, that my purpose is being fulfilled. So just letting go and grabbing tight to my intuition and then letting go of bad financial habits. I will say, I don't have to spend a lot of time on this one because a lot of my, my channel, a lot of my sessions are centered around finances, but I had to let go just of bad financial uh, choices. I had to operate this is why i often say um that i'm more like a corporate strategist in a sense that 
I took corporate strategies, strategies that I learned in uni, strategies that I learned in my career, just taking those corporate strategies and applying those to my financial life because I wanted to win like these corporations. And I didn't want anyone to have their thumb on me. I did not want to be in a situation too long. And the only way that to do that is to empower yourself financially. So I had to let go of those bad financial choices and I had to make the right choices, which was becoming debt free. I had to make the right choice of owning my home, owning things. I had to make, make that decision of being the owner, ownership babe. And all of that created ownership babe. Um, so I, I had to let that go in order to achieve financial success. So ladies, what do you have to let go as an ownership babe? I know there's something you're, you have to let go. If you feel the courage, share what it is that you need to let go. Allow the community, allow me, allow, you know, to encourage you that you can let those things go so that you can live a life of success, a life of success that's designed by you or rather defined by you and not defined by this society so ladies until next time have a beautiful day thank you for tuning in i'll see you soon hasta luego